the role of a chief executive in the department has got lots of different parts to it, but uh, a lot of it is about supporting the minister and members, making sure their priorities are delivered within the department, also making sure they've got enough information to support them in, in Timwald and Keys. Um, I think you know the, the department itself has got so many different parts to it, but all of them contribute to the safety of the Isle of Man. And uh, you know you've got the, the police, the prison and probation service, the, uh, the you know you've got fire and rescue service, you've got. Uh, the emergency planning and civil defence, the communications team, which provides the services for everybody in the island band, all the emergency services and the other parts of government to communicate with each other, uh, and the, the emergency services joint control room, making sure they're resourced, that they're all pointing in the right direction and working together. Um, and really, you know, there's, there's something about the complex legislation and policy. Is it fit for purpose? Are we delivering it on time? I've actually been involved with the department for quite a long time. I worked with the team and led the development of the criminal justice strategy back in 2012. I've been on that journey. I've felt some of the pain uh, of, of, of trying to modernise a criminal justice strategy, and I'm really keen that we, we, we push that forward um, under my, my time as chief exec. Um, I think working in the cabinet office, you get a great overall view of some of the challenges that departments face and some of the, 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 the other areas of social policy that might influence the way that you know, the, the, the department develops its own policy and legislation, so I'll bring that forward. But, you know, I'm a massive advocate for the use of technology in improving the way we provide our services to the public and transforming services. So I'm going to be somebody who's banging the drum constantly about making sure that, you know, our services are digital, that we're using technology to make sure we're getting the best outcomes for, for the people that we're serving. You know, the, the Isle of Man is such a, a great place to live, and, and a lot of that is because of, it's safe and because of the community that we live in. And, you know, I, I live here, my kids live here, my family are here, so, you know, I want the island to stay as safe as it is and to have that unique quality that it has, that, that, you know, the community, the safety. So that, that, that should be forefront in everything that we do. Um, you know, achieving that is about criminal justice modernisation, making sure that people don't enter the criminal justice system in the first place, but if they do, do we, do we make sure they go through the system as efficiently, as effectively as possible, and have they got the best chance of rehabilitation at the end of that process? Lots of threats around things like financial crime that we need to make sure we're seen to be dealing with. Uh, so that's a real big priority for us because I think that reflect, affects the way we're seen right across the world. Um, and the minister's got a really clear idea of what he wants to achieve. Uh, it's really important that we work with him to ensure that he feels that he's not just seeing things happen but he's seeing the results the end outcome of what he's trying to achieve so it's a big job but i'm really looking forward to it